Downham Market Academy is an 11 to 18 school. It has approximately 1,200 students, about 200 in the sixth form. We have some very academic students and we have some students who prefer more hands-on approach. So that's reflected in our curriculum. It's a lot more interactive, I think, because you do a lot of activities that are in groups. It's not like other lessons, it's quite relaxed, it's really fun. We offer a range of Cambridge Nationals alongside GCSE subjects. And I think they're, they're, they're really important for developing that sort of um, autonomy and that um, independent learning. GCSEs don't. It's a lot of coursework, but if you like, want to do it and dedicate it to it, it's easy to get done. I really like the fact that it's 75% coursework and you get to choose two options so I always pick creative activities and body systems. Again there's a lot of practical in both of them. Their website is quite easy to navigate, you've got everything on there, um, resources, you've got tracking. We obviously need to keep track of the students where they are, what marks they're on. On the OCR website is all of those already set up for us so when we start to put in the marks they will automatically total them for us. I don't find that there's a lot of admin. You can kind of get on and teach, you've got your sheet to mark and then it's got to be internally moderated but you haven't got um, all of this paperwork to complete and to send off. I just feel supported all the way, that you're always kind of looked, looked for the best in the students. So we have a really good relationship with Nelson Academy um, which is a local primary school where we go down and we'll help out. Personally, I enjoyed the Creative Activities Unit as we got to go down to um, a primary school and do creative activities with different children and it was just really fun seeing how they interact with us. And being able to sit there and to teach them how to do an activity, it's made me a lot more confident. That is probably the biggest highlight where you see the children just completely engage and I might as well go and have a cup of coffee because they could just run the whole um, session. This year, one or two people of the surrounding schools have picked it up, so I've kind of liaised with them because they want to double check you know, if what they're doing is right. If you like, we've been sharing ideas, bouncing ideas off each other, which has been really useful. We have children of all abilities studying Cambridge Nationals, and they do very well. We do find that sometimes our um, less able children do better than they would at GCSEs. Having the grades come out, seeing some of their faces and the sense how worried they were beforehand and actually how well they did. I've always had an interest in like becoming a nurse. I picked health and social care because I would like to be a primary school teacher when I grow up. I chose to study health and social care because I was really interested in like nursing and early years so it fitted that perfectly basically. We've had students that will go to college um, to continue with health and social care or they'll go down the childcare route or the paramedic route. So we've had a lot of students that will continue health and social care. They'll pick up Cambridge Technicals and from then on we've had students go to university, they become midwives, psychologists. From starting in year, year 10 and year 11 to kind of what they're doing now blows, blows me away really. 